Have you ever wondered about the characteristics of people who move to a new country? Let's explore Ravenstein's theory of migration and its relevance today. Ravenstein theorized that most long-distance migrants were single male young adults seeking work. Recent migration patterns in the U.S. match this theory in some respects, but not in others. A high share of U.S. immigrants are young adults, as Ravenstein expected. Immigrants are less likely to be elderly people or children. Only 5% of recent U.S. immigrants are over age 65. Children under the age of 20 comprise only 21% of immigrants. Ravenstein believed that males were more likely than females to migrate long distances to other countries. This used to be true, but female immigrants to the United States began to outnumber male immigrants around 1970. In developing countries, the percentage of female immigrants has risen sharply. The number of unaccompanied minors trying to cross into the U.S. without proper documentation has increased sharply in recent years. Nearly 90% have been males between the ages of 12 to 17. Most are pushed out of Honduras and El Salvador because of increased gang violence. Ravenstein's theory of migration may be over a century old, but it still provides valuable insights into today's migration patterns. What do you think?